Hey guys, it's me Nicole and today I will be showing an updated version of what's on my iPhone. Also, new hair and I like it. Anyway, anyway, so Apple recently released their iOS 14 and I updated mine and I customized it and I thought it would be nice if I show you guys an updated one because the last time I made a what's on my iPhone video that wasn't iOS 14 yet and I wasn't able to customize it the way I customize it now. So this video is gonna be in two parts. The first one is where I show you what's on my iPhone. You know the typical what's on my iPhone video, you already know. But the second part is where I show you guys how you can customize your iPhone like how I did. Like the features of iOS 14, what you can do with it and all of that. So stay tuned to see how you can customize your iPhone with the iOS 14. So my iPhone is the iPhone XR in black. This is the same phone that I showed in my what's on my iPhone a few months ago. I'm going to move a bit here on the side so you guys can see the screen recording here. So this is my lock screen. It's very cute. I got it from Pinterest. It's just a cloud that's smiling. And the white border doesn't actually come with it. I just added it so that there would be a white border rather than the whole screen is just the photo itself if you know what i mean i used Inta size to do that by the way okay then there's the camera and the flashlight and then when you open the phone this is what you're gonna see first so this one i didn't customize as much as the next page which we're gonna see later basically this page contains not so interesting apps but i still click on it enough that i didn't want to hide it so we have phone messages photos camera FaceTime, Calendar. I used to use Calendar a lot for my deadlines, but now I'm going to use Google Calendar. And then we have notes, reminders, and this one, the clock that you could see, I'm going to teach you guys how to do that later on, but yeah, I like it. I think it looks so nice. And then we have the clock. For my world clock, I have Manila because I live in Manila. Calgary because my tita lives there. Los Angeles because Mark Twan, I'm a big fan of Mark, lives there when he's not in Korea, so I just want to know what time it's there, you know? And then in Auckland because my tita lives in New Zealand. So that's for the clock. And then this random folder has random apps. I actually deleted a lot of the built-in apps from Apple, but these ones I think I might need. Oh, shortcuts, I use that a lot for the customizing part of this iPhone. You're gonna see that later. And then for the next folder, we have utilities. I use these not so frequently, but I use them. So they're not on the random folder. Widget Smith is what I use to customize my iPhone for the iOS 14. I have productivity, but I use these apps more on my MacBook rather than on my phone. But just in case I need to check something quickly using my phone, I didn't delete them. It's still there. And then for school, we have Docs, Gmail, Drive, Zoom, and ClassUp. ClassUp is an app where you can make your schedule. This one is my sister's schedule for her school. So, yeah. And that's it for this page. If you swipe to the left, there's going to be this page. I don't know what you call it. It's just a page where you could quickly tap into apps. The top one is a new feature of the iOS 14. It's called a smart stack where you can stack different apps and you can just quickly click into them. For example, here's the clock and the calendar and if I want to go to the calendar then I can just tap on it and it brings me there and here's my screen time or screen time I I can and then this is the page that I'm most excited about because this is what I customize it looks like that I think it's so cute I wanted to keep this page very cute and still minimal so here's a calendar Facebook, Instagram, YouTube Studio, TikTok, Twitter, and Among Us. Among Us is a game that I play. I'm pretty sure you've heard of it or maybe even play it. It's really fun. These are the apps that I use the most. So I just kept them there in one page and I customized their icons. And then here we have the reminders. I love this so much because I can just customize it depending on how I feel for the day. For example, today I want to be reminded of a certain code, or if not a code, then something that I have to do. For example, I'm going to change the code into something that I have to do. So let's say I have to make a thumbnail. And then it's gonna be there so I would be reminded to make a thumbnail. But most of the time, I want it to be a code. I just change it depending on how I feel for the day or how I need to be inspired for the day. 
and I like it because it's just there on my home screen and I get reminded of it every time I see my phone and that's all for the apps that I use a lot. Now let's move on to these three apps in the bottom. Basically the apps that I keep in the bottom three are the ones that I use the most. The left one with the cloud, this is my lock screen, is YouTube because I go to YouTube a lot. The middle one is Safari and then on the right most is Messenger but we're not gonna open that because then when you swipe right, these are all of the apps in my phone, some of them I hit. I go here on this page when I can't find an app or maybe I hit an app and I just can't find it anymore. So you can just search for it. For example, you want to go to Grab. So it just shows up when you search for it. And that's the app library. This is also a new feature of the iOS 14. So that's everything that's on my iPhone. Now let's move on to the second part of this video where I show you guys how you can customize your home screen and some of my favorite features from the iOS 14. Why am I so afraid just to say I I'm gonna move here again so you can see the screen recording. Let's start with my favorite features and then we're gonna end with how you can customize your home screen. Before the update, this is how it looks like when you take a selfie with your iPhone. Okay, so it inverts, like it doesn't stay the same. The right becomes the left. I don't know what's the word for that. It flips, basically. And with this update, you just have to go to settings, search for camera. On the composition part, you're going to turn on the mirror front camera. So now when you take a selfie, it looks like that. So it doesn't flip anymore. Like this was the before and this is the after. When I knew that we can do that with the update, this is the first thing I turned on because my face is symmetrical. And I love it, girl. I used to hate taking selfies with the phone because it flips and not anymore. So thanks, Apple, finally. Now this is the next feature. It's very fun to do. So this is what happens when I turn on my do not disturb. No one will disturb you now, your highness. <laughs> So basically, when you do something with your iPhone, you can ask Siri to say something after you do that command. So for that, you have to go to Shortcut and go to Automation, click the Add button, and create personal automation. So for example, you want Siri to say something when you turn on your airplane mode. So you just have to click on airplane mode. Next, Add Action, and then type in Speak. So you have to click on the Speak text. And you're going to type there what you want Siri to say when you do that certain command. So for example, I want Siri to say, you flying. So we're going to click on next. And then you have to make sure you turn off the ask before running. Because if you don't turn that off, you're going to get a notification first before it actually speaks, which is annoying. And that's basically not the point of this whole thing. So you have to turn that off. If you want to, if you want to get a notification, then it's up to you. And then we click on done. So now when I turn on my airplane mode, you fly in. So that's how it works. This next feature is also very helpful. You can now do double tasks like while watching, you can do something else. So for example, we're going to Netflix. And let's watch some Gossip Girl. Hi, so screen recording didn't work on Netflix, so it was frozen the entire time. LOL, so I just recorded my phone for this part. So you can just bring it up. So you can now watch Netflix while going to other apps. If you want to go back to Netflix, you just have to click on this little button over here and you're back. Now I'm going to show you guys how you can add this clock to your home screen as well. So what you have to do is first download Widget Smith. It's the black with the blue box icon. And then once that's downloaded, you're going to click on it. And you're going to decide whether you want a small, medium, or large widget. But for my clock, I added small. So we're going to add small widget. And then you're going to want to customize it. So you click on that. And let's say this time you want to add the week number. And for the font, I use New York. And then I change my background color first. So I use cream for this clock. But this time, let's say we want pastel purple. And for the tint color, I usually make it black. Actually, I always make it black. Go back and save it. So now you're going to press down on any app and edit home screen. And then you click on that add button over there. And then you scroll down to the widget smith. Remember, we customize a small widget, so we're going to add a small widget. And then you're going to click on that. And then you're going to choose the widget that you customized earlier, which is small number three. 
so there you have it. Now you have a new widget on your screen and you can just put it anywhere that you want. So let's say I want to put it here. And there we have it. It's very easy to do. All you have to do really is to download Widget Smith and you can experiment on it, whatever your style is. And that's also how I made this calendar over here. But for the reminders, what you have to do is Again, click down on any app, edit home screen, click the plus button, and then you're going to scroll down and select on reminders, and then you're going to add a widget for whatever list you want to display. So for example, this time I want to add my reminders for college, so I'm just going to click on that. And then now we have it on our home screen. You can just place it anywhere you want it. Okay, but for me, just one reminder is enough, so we're going to remove that. I just wanted to show you guys how you to do it. There are other widgets that you can add. For example, you can also add your screen time to the home screen if you want to be reminded of it all the time there. So it's here on your screen now. You can also make that bigger. If you want a bigger widget, then we can do medium. So now it looks like this and for example we want it down there. So this is how you add different widgets. It really depends on what you want or what you need on your home screen but for me I only want a very minimal home screen so I'm really good with this already. Now I'm going to show you guys how I changed my icon into different photos. For example TikTok's icon looks like this but I managed to change it to a cute cat. So to show you guys how I did this I'm going to do it on my photos. So what you have to do first is hide your photo app so edit home screen and then click on the minus button and remove from home screen you don't delete it you just hide it okay now that it's not there you're going to pinterest or wherever you want to get your photo you can also get it from your camera roll but for me i want to go to pinterest and search for a cute icon so you're just gonna scroll get the icon that you want Okay, so now I found the icon that I want to use. We're just gonna download that image. And then you have to go to shortcuts once again. Click on the plus button, add action, and then you're going to search for open app. And then you click on that and you press on choose and you choose the app that you want to change its icon. So I'm going to choose photos. And then you click on those three buttons. And then you have to name it. I just want to keep it as it is, so I'm just gonna name it photos. And then add to home screen, and you have to name it again. Again, I wanted photos. And then on the left of the name, you're going to click on it and choose photo. So you choose the photo from your camera roll, whatever photo you want, but for me, it's this one, it's from Pinterest. And then you're going to click on add. And then now it's added to your home screen. Now it's there, you can put it anywhere you want it to be. And that's it, it's as easy as that. That's all you have to do to customize the icon of any app that you want. Hi again, Tihi, so um, I forgot a couple of other features, AAA, so I'm just gonna voice over the rest. This backed up feature allows me to double tap at the back of my phone and it takes a screenshot, or when I triple tap, it locks my phone. So to do this, you have to go to accessibility in your settings. Press on touch and then on back tap and then there's the double tap and the triple tap. There's a lot of commands for you to choose from. Let's say instead of the lock screen, when I triple tap at the back of my phone, it shows the control center instead. You can also hide pages in this new feature of the iOS 14. To do this, you have to press down on any app and then edit home screen and then you have to tap on those buttons below and then leave a check mark to the pages that you want to keep. And that's it for this what's on my iPhone slash a little tutorial on how you can customize your home screen. I hope it helped and also credits to all the TikToks that I watched. That's how I learned. I just watched a lot of TikToks. That's how I was able to teach you guys. So thank you to everyone who posted in TikTok to teach us how to customize it because I was able to learn and also teach you how you can do it. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing an updated version of what's on my iPhone. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, turn on the notification bell. I post every Wednesday. And also, I usually post at Wednesday 8 p.m. but this time I'm going to post at 7 p.m. because I'm experimenting on my upload schedule. So for the meantime, my upload schedule will be every Wednesday 7 p.m. Bye!